Welcome back, everybody, to episode 15 of Minnesota Vikings Franchise, June Jones Edition, on Dynasty Central Sports. Like and subscribe down below. Give us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And we are jumping in. We are off our last game, which was a big loss to the Indianapolis Colts. Dak Prescott and the Colts took it to us. And now we're going to jump into week five against the Lions. But first, let's take a look at the re-signings. Kirk Cousins, yeah, right. Holton Hill, let's try to sign you. 76 overall. Uh, he is 23 out of Texas, two-year cornerback. He's played really well um, on the opposite of, well, doesn't want to sign. Okay, so yet we're going to be waiting on that. We're going to just jump into the Lions game here. Derek Henry is their big-time line, uh, linebacker. Running back uh, signing with... Uh, Kenny Galladay, TJ Hawkinson, and Matthew Stafford. The Lions offense looks treacherous. Um, let's jump in. We have the color rush on for both teams. We got the silver with white numbers. Let's hope I can read them correctly now um, in this. And then we have our Minnesota Vikings. No white. Sands white. Let's jump in. June Jones talking to... Some sideline guy, Ryan Stonehouse with his visor. He is uh, just a badass punter, and here we go. Number 98, kickoff, and he's going to take it out of the end zone. So we're going to be moving up. So we are off a big loss to the Colts, like I just said. Matthew Stafford, 9 for 5. Uh, hands off to, it looks like, DeAndre Swift is actually going to get the first start. Um, first hand off, there is Derrick Henry. He is a big mamma jamma back there. He is going to get the bulk of the load for the Lions, and he's catching out of the backfield as well. It's going to be a tough one. Um, we just want to make sure that uh, we, you know, contain this offense. It's a, it's a pretty multi, you know, pretty powerful offense when it actually gets going. You know, you have Derrick Henry back there. You have DeAndre Swift. Um, who is a good back, number two, Matthew Stafford, and you got Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr., plus TJ Hawkinson, and there it is, Daniil Hunter. He is going to eat up Matthew Stafford on that first down, uh, fifth sack of the season. Let's take a look at that. Oh, Matthew Stafford had no chance in any way possible of making that happen. There's a drop. And uh, we are third and goal. Can the Lions punch this in? Hawkinson again on the check down pass. And they're going to kick a field goal. So not too bad. We're going to hold them to a field goal. And uh, we're going to get the ball on our first drive. That was not too bad. Um, you know, let's tar take this Melky Stovall with a nice juke. Gets out of that tackle. Breaks a couple of them. <laughs> Marcus Mariota, 5 for 5. Those are not $117 million worth. Uh, I am just going to continue harping on that because that is, just blows my mind still. And uh, it's not going to get any better in my opinion. There's no way he is going to match up any of these. That's a nice run by Adam Thielen. He's got 23 yards run after catch on that first play. So first down, Marcus drops back. He hits... That's Izzy Crowell with a nice catch out of the back backfield. I've been noticing that June Jones likes to switch out his running backs when uh, it comes into more of a pass situation. It looks like Izzy Crowell is more of a... Uh, there is a touchdown to Irv Smith Jr. for his first ever reception for a touchdown. This is historic for the uh, Alabama tight end. Let's take a look at that. That is finally, now the game can stop harping on me to get Irv Smith Jr. his first touchdown. We are going to see this uh, celebration, this is kind of annoying celebration, um, three times over because Swervin Irvin gets his first. All right, kickoff to the Lions. Like I said, though, um, it's uh, you can tell that when there's more of a passing play, you want more of the running back to get into can we tackle this guy, please? Uh, June Jones throws Izzy Crowell back there a little bit more. You can tell he's a little bit more sure-handed in the uh, running uh, routes, whereas Trey Ragus is more of the speed back, the elusive back. 
currently in this system. There's a uh, big catch there by, I believe that was TJ Hawkinson. And Stafford drops back. There's a catch. Oh, we got a fumble on that one. A little bit of fumbleia. Eric Kendricks will pick it up. That's, all. Yeah, that's nice. That's Hitman Harrison Smith again. He is, he is just lethal back there. I love him back there. Oh. That was unexpected. Oh, gosh. Trey Raggis, he fumbles the ball, and that is a fumble mm. for a touchdown. Ooh, that is not the answer. It looks like the uh, Vikings offense trying to pick that up more like a game of foosball. Let's take a look. Kick, kick. Raggis can't even pick it up, and the Lions get a touchdown. Stovall will going to return this kick. Up, he is past the 25. Nope, he did not get to the 25. We Well, he did. They're at the 25-yard line. Hand off to Crowell. Now that uh, Ragus, he uh, fumbles that ball. I, I don't believe to see him a little bit on some run plays. It's nice to see, though, Izzy Crowell get in there. Taj a sharp-dressed man. Uh, he grabs that reception, and that is... Not caught by Tajay Sharp again. Kind of focusing in on him. There's a pass to John Ross the third. JR3 grabs that one. Izzy Crowell takes that handoff for no, well, almost one yard. Uh, and there's a pass. Nope. That's caught. terrible. Not recepted. Recepted. Not caught. Anyways, we're at the two-minute warning. Here's a pass across. Oof, that got knocked down. And Dalton Witherspoon's going to knock that one through. And we have a tie game, 10-10. to -10. Minute 50 left in the second. Oh, Dalton Witherspoon showing, uh, uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name anymore. Dan B Bailey to, uh, you know, where to kick it. Um, here we go. Lions, uh, Matthew Stafford drops back. That's a big pass. Nice reception. And it's first and 10. Lions are moving down the field, though. We do not want to give up a, a touchdown right before the half uh, ends. So, let's see. Stafford drops back again. There's another check down pass to TJ Hawkinson, the tight end out of Iowa. And, oh, that was a big hit on uh, DeAndre Swift. And the Lions are going to punt that ball. Milky stuff. Oh, no. no that, oh, oh, that was a bad decision. Do not do that next time, Melkis, or else you're not going to get any more punts. There we go. Izzy Crowell gives us a little bit of space. Marcus Matt drops back. That is a long bomb, and that is caught by Adam Thielen. That is great. Can we get a touchdown on this? Marcus drops, and that is caught by John Ross, the third for a touchdown. We get a touchdown right before the half ends 44 yards take a look at this three plays a crowell run to give us some space a nice long pass to adam Thielen on that contested catch and john ross the third says i cannot hear you please chant and cheer a little bit louder here we go kickoff for the end of the second quarter basically 10 seconds left we are up 17 to 10 can we get the ball back as well in the third quarter, most likely Derrick Henry will trug that up for uh, a couple for a first down. Long bomb that is not intercepted, but it's batted around, knocked down like a volleyball game. We have 198 yards passing, 31 yards rushing, and one turnover, which was that fumble by Trey Ragus. No interceptions so far on Mariota. Knock on wood. I'm not going to do it. Uh, Stovall brings it up to the 24-yard line. Let's see if we can get another touchdown and get a jump on the uh, Lions here. <clears throat> Hand off to Izzy Crowell as well. There it is. And drop back third and nine. Marcus hits Tajay Sharp, but he drops that because he gets hit in the air because that was an uh, underthrown ball. There it is. A big hit on the uh, punt return, DeAndre Swift. Ooh, nice up-ending hit on DeAndre Swift. I don't know why the camera is so far but up, but, you know, it was a bad pass anyways for D Matthew Stafford. Here we go, 17 to 10 still. Ooh, diving catch, no good. Third and 10, Stafford, ooh, hits, I think that hit DeAndre Swift in the face. Um, anyways, they're going to be punting it in Melky Stovall, who I've heard, 
I don't know for he has not been uh, interjected yet, but I've heard in practice ah! he's been really turning heads on the offensive receiving game. He might be getting into a game soon. Look at that catch by Tajay Sharp. Wow, 22 yards. He's really putting his body into it. That's why he is a what? Sharp dressed man. That's right. Um, anyways, screen pass to Izzy Crowell. Gets the first down on that one. Two minutes and 47 seconds left. So if Melky Stovall, oop, we got a penalty. You can't do that. Pass interference. Of course it is. Justin Coleman, you cheating piece of. Uh, anyways, Melky Stovall, if he can get himself into some games and uh, maybe, you know, turn some heads, he might be a nice diamond in the rough seventh round pick type of player um and so if he can overtake cam phillips we'll see we'll take a look at that uh, position battle uh over the next couple games um and see if there's any more movement out there marcus tries to ooh, 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 he gets wrecked on that one it is second and 13 in the third quarter marcus does not or should not scramble like that and that was a blown up hit Drop ball, third and 13. Oh, bad. Oh, no. That's why you don't scramble when you get a chance. Oh, look at this. He just Drop. loses the ball. Lions get the ball back. Marcus, come on. That's definitely not carrying worth $117 million. Every time you mess up this season, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harp on that. That is ridiculous. Anyways, Stafford drops back. Check down catch. And it's third and four, and we are in the fourth quarter. Only six minutes left in this game, guys. It is a tight one. Only a touchdown separates us, but the Lions are going to punt it. Fourth and one. Stovall is going to receive that, and he's tackled immediately on the 22. Izzy Crowell gets that up for a three-yard run. Not too great, but it's still second and seven. Izzy Crowell punches out of that tackle and uh, gets a couple of yards on that one. Not great. Oof, drop pass there, and we are going to punt it as well. Fourth and uh, Four minutes and nine seconds left. Matthew Stafford has it, and the 28-yard line, that is broken up. This is nice. I like to see the way that de our defense has been playing against this high-flying off. Well, I'm speaking too soon, because every time I t praise our defense, they suck it up, so... I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to talk about you until you do something really great. Let's see here. Ooh, broken tackle. Let's uh, not let him score. If we can hold him to a... F oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. We got a fumble, but they recovered it. Derrick Henry gets shut down on that third and two. They're going to go for it on this one. And is he shut down? Oh, we did shut him down. We have the ball, and we're, it looks like we're going to try to run down some clock. Minute 52 left in this game, and we are up by a touchdown. Trey Regis holding on to that ball for dear life now. It's like a Fabergé egg. Izzy Crowell picks up that first down, though. That is good. And the Lions are out of a time, out of timeouts. It looks like June Jones is just trying to run down the clock here. Second and eight. Well, that is not how you run down a clock, Marcus. Throwing almost an interception. Hand off to Crowell. That is not... Oh, that is a first down. All right, guys. We have 19 seconds left. Oh, Crowell is doing a great job of just running down some clock. And there it is. We win 17-10. to 10. Sean McVay, apparently the new coach of the Lions this season, throws down in his playbook because he is upset. We have 226 uh, passing yards, to 110 rushing yards. And uh, Tajay Sharp... Marcus Mariota, we are all pumped up. No interceptions for Marcus. Um, 229 yards passing, two touchdowns. Uh, 78 yards out of Izzy Crowell. That is good. We did get the fumble from Ragus and Mariota, so we're going to have to look at that. Turnovers is not great no matter what we do. Touchdown from John Ross to third. And Swervin Irvin Smith Jr., he gets his first touchdown of his career. No sacks given up. Wow, we guys, that is ridiculous. Mark it down on the calendar, episode 15. This is a legendary time.
in Minnesota Vikings franchise. All right, guys, let's jump back to the menu, and we are going to have a bye week in between. A quick week six bye week. We're going to take a look here. Harrison Smith wants to know what we're going to do for the bye. I don't care, guys. Just uh, relax, rest up. You guys earned it against the Lions. We are going to try to throw in a couple new formations to the playbook. Let's try to sign Holton Hill. Can you do it, bud? Sign with us. Oh, come on. All right. Well, no. All right. Let's jump to week seven against the Bears. Let's go to the game. Bye week is over, and we are going to jump into week seven. Big game against the division rivals, Chicago Bears. Let's try to sign Holton Hill this time. Please sign with us, Holton. Come on. You know you want to. You like it in Minnesota, right? Yes, he does. There we go. Resign. Brian, ah, how about turnstile? Mm. 6.1 million plus 3.22. All right. All right. He likes it. Resign. Offer submitted. All right. Doesn't like the offer, but he's still got the offer. So let's jump in. Bears are going to get the color rush. Of course they do. I like it. Sorry, guys. I know. Whatever. But well, let's go with purple socks. Go with all purple from the waist below. Kind of like Grimace, but he's purple all the way. Anyways, Bears, Vikings, let's do this. This is a big division rivalry game. Uh, I believe the Bears are, I think they're right now third in our division. We are at the beginning, top of our division. I think we're, what, five and one? Yeah, five and one. I don't know. I didn't check this. I didn't check the records. But let's go into this already. We got Tariq Cohen. Cohen. Um, he gave us nightmares last time. Sixteen for three. Nick Foles looking like an MVP back there. He's got the Michael Jackson glove on, and we are starting off with a three-yard pass. Nick Foles drops back, and there is a big hit, but he does get the first down. Foles drops backs again. So we have a big game. Obviously, this is a big one. We are coming off the uh, win over the Lions. That was a big, nice win over a divisional team. But the Lions just, no offense to Lions fans out there or anything like that, but the Lions suck. I mean, they're never that good. Even if they got Derek Henry, Matthew Stafford, Ke uh, Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr., uh, TJ Hawkinson on offense. You got DeAndre Swift. They still suck. So um, it's you know nice to know that we beat them, but you know it's not uh, uh, it's not as big as like beating the Packers or the Bears. Uh, sorry, Lions, but we just expect to beat you guys. Anyways, there's Daniel Hunter, but he gets shrugged off. On that, and he still gets revenge. That is a half sack for Daniil Hunter on that one. And there's three, third and third, 19. They're going to kick a field goal. And that doesn't look good, but it is. So the Bears are up three to nothing. So like I talked about, we are injecting a little bit more um, different formations. Look at that, Marcus, seven for five. Not even a 1,000 yards yet. This is... Not great numbers, and he wants a... Okay. No interceptions last game. First play of the game, throws a pick six. Wow. Come on, Marcus. That is brutal right out of the hands of Justin Jefferson, and the Bears are already up 10 nothing. Oh, and we got running into the kicker on James Pierre. Whatever. It's still a, a good kick. So Mel, Melky Stovall, who is not in the uh, wide receiver position yet, um, still trying to... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Marcus? You're going to walk off the field like you actually try. Uh, oh, my God. That is your seventh interception. The, the first two plays of the game, you throw interceptions. That is ridiculous, Marcus. I'm sorry. I you I I a fan of yours, but not right now. That is, that is Kirk Cousins level crappy. Okay, you are better than that. 
two straight plays, two mm. interceptions. We can't even get a, a, um, a interception on that one. That one is not good by the Bears kicker, so we do get the ball back. But, man, they're a uh, handoff, so we don't get any interceptions thrown on that one. So, like I was saying before we interrupted by two interceptions already thrown by the $117 million man. There's a face mask penalty. I am upset. Guys, that it just pisses me off. You know, uh, Khalil Mack gets a face mask penalty. He's probably going to be up Marcus's shorts all game anyways because Brian O'Neill's a turnstile. I am, you know, I'm a little bit negative right now. Yeah, you can, you can feel it in my tone of my voice. I'm not happy about this. Two interceptions to start the game. We are down 10 to th nothing. Dalton Witherspoon can't mm. kick a field goal to save his life. Uh, Marcus is throwing ducks up. And we're getting face mask penalties and running into the kicker. What is going on with this team on this game? This is just dismal. And that, look at that. We finally got a gang, ta gang tackle because we have nightmares of this play. Let's relive it. Oh, my God. We had nine people have to tackle Tariq Colin right there. Just to, and he, oh, God. Oh, God. The spin cycle from Tariq Cohen is just lethal to us. And uh, we had nightmares. So that was why we had nine people try to tackle him on that play. And he still threw the spin cycle on us. That was a kick out of bounds. And Marcus Mariota surprised it. Oh, wow. That was so close to being an interception as well. This is just, just bad. Another almost interception. Nobody can hold on to the ball. Um, every pass is so high up in the air, they have to jump for it. Fourth and 18, what are you doing, guys? I, no way that we were going to get that. Marcus, I don't even think you've actually uh, completed a pass on this game. This is just bad. I, I, I can't believe how bad we're playing against the Bears right now. Mick Foles passes that out of the backfield to Cole Komet, I think. Uh, might be. I think it's Cole Komet. Anyways... James Lynch gets a sack, though. That was nice. Let's take a look at that. He just ew, throws ew. Nick Foles down like a friggin' little kid. He's just like, ah, down on the ground, kid. Anyways, I don't cond condone throwing kids, though. I have said that before. Here's a field goal by the Bears kicker, and we are down 13 to nothing. So, you know, whatever. We're not... Uh, doing anything correctly in this game. Melky Stovall, though, is trying to do something, and our own guy runs into him, slows him down. Nothing. There's a handoff. Nothing. So end of the quarter here. Khalil Mack is going to eat uh, Marcus's shorts on that one. And let, I don't even want to look at the stats. Don't even... Don't, oh, oh, my gosh. Don't look, guys. Oh, All right. We're going to start the second half with... Kirk Cousins. God, please, center. no! Uh, because, you know what? Marcus has been so bad this game. Uh, I'm benching him for Kirk Cousins. Can you believe that? All right, hand off to Izzy Crowell. We are going to try to get some run plays in, maybe. I don't know. There's a sack. Uh, I'm just... <sighs> if... If... If I wanted to curse, I would right now. I would be just going to... See, we can't even tackle. Oh, my gosh. To Rick Cohen. Just put him into the dirt, please. There we go. There's a sack. I like that. Nick Foles goes to the dirt. Um, and finally, on one of their... Uh, one of they get to get a sack down. So, anyways, drop pass. Big hit by Eric Killa Kendricks. And it's 13 to nothing, and the Bears are going to punt it to Melky Stovall. So maybe we'll get to go nowhere on that nine-yard nine line. Almost an interception from Kirk Cousins. So we're going to run it with Trey Ragus. Cousins pump fakes. Oh, my God. Can Has he even completed a pass? Fourth and five. There is a completed pass to Adam Thielen. Old man to old man. All right, handoff to Ragus goes nowhere. Second on 11. Cousin gets sacked on that one. Oh, my gosh. If I could just fast forward this game, I probably would for you guys. Tajay Sharp, dressed man. He actually does something, puts in some effort, and it's a first down. 
Cousins drops back, throws it to an empty field of nobodies. And nobody at all. Craig Raggis runs into his own guy. Uh, this is this is like um, I sh I should if I wasn't uh, oh my god there's an interception. Can uh, someone edit this and just put it? To, uh, oh my gosh, please don't catch that. Just put you should put this whole this whole game to uh, Benny Hill soundtrack because this is how that game is for the Vikings. This is the most dismal game I've ever seen my Vikings play in my franchise right now is June Jones. Here we go though, a punt because we actually do stop them on the three yard line, fourth and eight, and Stovall is going to take that up. Can he get past the 50 yard line? He does not, we're at the 48. Uh, Cousins drops back, play action. Almost sacked. There is a nice catch though by Tajay Sharp. Cousins drops back. Pump fakes. Is that a touchdown? Mm. Oh no, that's not a touchdown. Nobody. Tajay Sharp can't bring that one in. That was barely a catchable ball. Cousins is gonna throw on the wheels. The speed burners. Third and eight. Here we go. Knockdown pass. And Dalton Witherspoon. Can we get some pat points? We do get some points. It's no shutout here, folks. 13-3. to three. The Bears have the ball with 2 minutes and 48 seconds. And, uh, you know, I have word that I would imagine that uh, June Jones is not going to try to fight this. He's going to let this game, you know, kind of end up uh, how it is. He wants to stop the bleeding, make it 13-3. to three. It's not like we're going to get the ball back, score a touchdown, and then get the ball back again and score a touchdown or get a field goal to tie it. So it's unlikely that's going to happen the, uh, the way Kirk Cousins and everyone is playing. Marcus Mariota is an abysmal player today. Everyone's dropping passes like crazy. It's just the worst game I've ever played by played on this channel so far by the Vikings. So just run the clock down. Kirk Cousins runs around. Long bomb could have been an interception on that one. Should have been there. That's actually a nice catch. Good job, Tajay Sharp. Yeah, June Jones throws the cups down. It's because he had to play Kirk Cousins this game. We did have more passing yards than Nick Foles, which is crazy. He had MVP numbers up until this game. Three interceptions thrown by our quarterbacks today. I cannot even call Marcus Mariota a quarterback with 9.7 QBR. Oh my gosh. Tajay Sharp, the only one that can catch a ball. We gave up five sacks. Two to Jack, Jack Anderson, Bradbury, turnstiles all around the offensive line. Nine tackles for Ke Killa Kendricks. Uh, let's take a look at sacks. Daniil Hunter, James Lynch. And let's just finish this episode, guys. Thank you, though, for watching. I'm sorry I'm so negative right now, but uh, let's finish this up and let's jump into Week 8 next episode here on Dynasty Central Sports. Like and subscribe down below. Thank you for the support. We'll see you next episode. Later, guys.